Hi guys, I'm going to show you this DIY I'm doing from uh, Upcycle. I got from Goodwill. This beautiful armor cabinet is absolutely gorgeous and it's nice and it's brown. It's nothing wrong with it. It's not really damaged. It's just missing a part to it. But I want to show you how I'm going to revamp it and kind of girl it up a little bit more. All right, guys, this is your more girl and welcome back to my channel. This part here, as you can see, is missing, and this is where they just place the rings, and I really don't have rings, so I'm going to just, like redo it a little bit and make it sort of like the same type of design, but I'm going to see if I can either place glasses in there or other small pieces or pendants that I have. So, all right, guys, let's get started. I'm going to show you the supplies I'll be using for this. Again, this cabinet is from Goodwill, and it was $7.99, and again, guys, you know these cabinets go from $129 all the way up to $179, so this was a really good buy for me. All right, guys, let's get started. First thing I want to do is, of course, is separate everything and take everything apart and separate the door from the base of the cabinet. Now, the supplies I'll be using is I have the board, I have my saw, because I'm going to do a couple of shelves and, of course, a ruler, along with a paintbrush and also spray paint. Now, you can see here, as I was trying to unscrew the back from the cabinet, I noticed that some of it was adhered and it was glued on so I couldn't. So my initial thing was to actually paint the whole thing, but I had to change plans and I decided now and just use contact paper. So here I'm just measuring the width of the cabinet so I can add a couple of shelves for accessories like glasses and bracelets. leftover contact paper I had so I'm just going to use what I already have and when I'm measuring it I'm only going to go into the edge here I'm not going to go over the flap just to the top of the edge and that's all I need Lying over streets and all broken hearts but they can even touch us without a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the leaves. I decided to use this new paint by Bear. Bear white spray paint. I have never used it before. It's pretty cool. So again, I like to go uh, going across. I don't do circular motions when I spray paint. I kind of try to do like long strokes going across. The inside, I'm not worried too much about because that is going to be covered again with contact paper. I finished painting the back of the cabinet, so that is drying now. So I decided to do the front, inside and outside, and I'm doing two coats. Now, while this is done, I'm going to go back to the cabinet and again, apply the contact paper. The contact paper is basically simple. You just apply it on the inside and just trim the edges and just be careful not to cut where you have your fabric. So once you put in your contact paper, just make sure, you know, everything is pressed evenly that you don't have any air bubbles anywhere because that you don't want to have any air pockets anywhere and just press it down just carefully. Here again, I am cutting off any um, excess and make sure, you know, for this part, this part of it, guys, that you use a really sharp blade because those corners, you know, you want them really sharp and especially again, be careful that you don't cut the fabric. So make sure you cut really, really close to the edge of that if you're going to do a project like like this. Once the back of the armor is done, I'm back to the front of it where I'm going to re-glue this frame here. It was a part. So I'm going to use the Gorilla Glue here. And this is a wood glue. And you can get this at Home Depot, of course. I'm going to reinstall the mirror and, of course, add all the necessary hardware to secure it.
different star Flying over streets and all broken hearts But they can even touch us with found a different beat now guys i'm ready for my shelving so here i'm using trim i got from home depot and one by two i believe boards so i'm cord i sand everything down once i cut everything i'm kind of sanding it down now for the boards i want to add my little extra velvet here just to give it a little bit more glam factor I cut a piece of the fabric it doesn't matter that it's jacket because you're really not going to see any of the edges once you put it in the cabinet and i'm just using some basic spray adhesive you can go any brand you want to go you can get this at any craft store or of course home depot where i got this one in order to hold up the shelves i got these shelf pins from home depot or you can get them again at lowe's they come in either a silver or brass or you can get like a plastic. Now and again, I'm cleaning up this shelf before I install everything back in because you know velour contracts a lot of lint. Okay, once I install the shelves, I'm going to show you again why it doesn't matter if it's jagged edges because here I added a cover for it. So again, you won't see that part. So this came out really nice. I got measured everything properly and I don't have to paint it. That's why I got everything already white. The shelving is finished. It's time to get to the part that was actually missing from the armoire. So again, I'm going to use this foam. This is a foam mattress pad from Walmart, guys. This huge mattress is like a twin size mattress. I have used this for many, many, many projects. It is so much cheaper to get a foam mattress than to actually keep going to Joann's and buying foam. Do the slot sort of like for rings, but I don't want it for rings, but I want it for other accessories. So I did cut up the pieces of foam. Now from this one, I did have to recut the foam again because it was too thick for the door to close. So I had to redo this process, but I'm gonna show you basically how it's done. I cut up four pieces, fold them up. Again, took one piece of material and that's all it is, is tucking it in. I actually saw another YouTuber do this. I thought this was ingenious to do this. Now, if I wanted to switch this and I might do that, take this part out again and just get like a foam board and add some type of netting to it because I have a lot of post earrings that I can't find the backing to. Yes, it'd probably be easier just to put the earrings into the board. So guys, let me know if you have a lot of these post earrings that you cannot find the backing to because I have many of them and I have to probably go to Amazon just to get some extra backings to my earrings. Everything cut. I actually flipped the phone inside out, the opposite direction, and I am stapling each section as you can see. Again, I said I had to make this a little thinner, so I had to retrim everything all over again. But you see the gist of how I was doing this. Came out pretty cool. And actually, I wish it could go thicker because I actually was putting my sunglasses in it. But since I had to switch it out, I decided to put the sunglasses on a shelf. It's timeless, we Okay, I got all the rows in. As you can see here, the last row, I have to use, you know, just glue, some hot glue to attach it. So, you know, if the foam doesn't come out and it has a nice clean finish to it. And guys, this is how my Oddmore came out. I placed everything together and I will show you the final, final look of how I did this upcycle. All right, guys, not bad for $7.99 from Goodwill. All right, guys, let me show you how I placed it in my room. All right, guys, I'll be back to show you the finished product. to show you how it came out i think it came out really nice i add um of course i had an extra like doorknob here for my cabinet so i add that to it and this is how she looks okay and like i say this is here is thick here so i have some pendants like this that my friends have given me so i slot them this and this is a ring that's in here. And this is from my twinsie that she sent to me. So that's why I wanted it thick enough to hold that. It can hold my glasses, but again, I really don't have rings to need that. And of course, I don't have a whole lot of jewelry because I had other places I stashed my jewelry as well. But I just wanted to show you a few examples of what I did. So here, I have my long jewelry here. 
and of course some of the dangling so the, again they have this in very very good shape whoever donated this it was just missing this here and of course it has a mirror which i'm loving this so if i wanted to put my earrings on i could um i decided to do all my dangly jewelries here i cleaned all my jewelry before i did it and of course i have my glasses here so i put my sunglasses on this shelf and then you can see here the contact paper only goes on the inside not the outside just the inside and these are of course magnetic as well so what in the shelves here is as you can see this beautiful bracelet here is from one of my best friends and again you can't see that it's jacket edges because you have this here so i can i just place this here and then this one here and i actually add one of my little lights to it so i can just have a little light here just to get give it like a cute little glam and also here i did put just something here like i'm gonna do my body lotions and my body creams here so that's how it came out guys i thought it came out cute let me think you know for seven dollars and 99 cent again all right, guys i just wanted to show you where i put it up and it's little blinky it matches everything white and silver and black because that's my whole section is white silver and black all right guys it's more girl i just again wanted to show you that it matches my pack system i have nothing no more other space to put in this room here all right guys this is your more girl and i will see you at the next video all right guys it's more girl bye